Each player throws a dart at the Darskins logo. The player who lands closest to the middle of the Darskins logo plays first, and so on. Darskins Quest for the Cup is a multifaceted game with any number of participants. There are three set-up skill stages to play before the players race each other around the track and attempt to be the first horse home to win the cup. Firstly, all players agree on a starting allotment of dart throws. For example, 30 dart throws for a beginner, 20 for a standard player, and 10 for skilled dart players. However, this number could be increased or decreased to suit the person's ability. Each participant now has the opportunity to increase their horse's favouritism and handicap in the skill stages. Players in turn have six dart throws at the centre money section to raise as much capital to afford the best horse they can. Aim straight, as misses contribute nothing to the bank. Once a player has finished, the total is recorded on the scorecard. In a turn, three darts are thrown at the top of the board to hit the section of the horse the syndicate can afford to win the bid and purchase that horse. The number associated with that horse's section is to be recorded on the scorecard and increases the number of the player's allocation of starting throws. If the horse aimed for is not hit with any of the three dart throws, the next affordable horse hit can be purchased and that number of added dart throws recorded on the scorecard. If no horse is hit, however, the donkey is automatically selected and only a plus one throw is added to the player's tally. Each player in turn has one dart throw to select their jockey from the bottom section of the Quest for the Cup dart skin and the bonus dart throws added to their total. If no jockey is hit, the player is awarded only a plus one bonus throw. Players list their starting skill level plus the bonus dart throws and tally that final number of throws under their name on a scorecard. All players are now ready to commence the Darkskins Quest for the Cup race. A turn consists of three darts. The player with the most dart throws begins the race and aims for the start furlong segment. Once this is hit, the player moves anti-clockwise around the track, aiming at the next coloured furlong strip. At the completion of three dart throws, a coloured pin is to be placed on the side of the coloured strip, last hit to track race progress. The player with the next most allotted dart throws recorded then has their turn. To even out the race pattern, all players may choose to have the contestants with the higher number of dart throws continue their turns until all players have a similar amount of throws to race the track with. This in effect would be a head start around the track for some, but enable all players to finish at a similar time. All contestants minus three each turn from their total, as they race along the track until they run out of dart throws, or the winner crosses the line to take the cup. As a special feature, if a player's horse is down to their last turn of three darts, a speed burst to the finishing line can be achieved, only if no target is missed in the run home. This can extend up to nine dart throws in a row, allowing your horse to swoop from nowhere in the quest for the cup. And just like all dartskins games, on the line is in.